yo, welcome to today's video my friends where we are unboxing the Logitech Prodigy G203 Gaming Mouse on the Gamers World channel today. Let's have a quick look around the box before we open it up and see what's inside. Okay, on the front, not a lot going on. You've got a picture of the mouse, the Eternity G203 Gaming Mouse, 8000 DPI. And again, 8000 DPI tech specs on the side, responsiveness, USB data format, 16 bits, durability, 10 million clicks per button, and then some other stuff in other languages. And you can see as well, it's compatible with Windows 7 or later, Mac OS 10 and Chrome OS, and you need a USB port to connect the mouse to your machine and also a web connection to download the Logitech software if you want to customise the mouse. On the side of the box again, just telling you the model and on the back it's just the same info we've just seen apart from the 16.8 million RGB colours which are available to you which you can preset or what I have it doing right now is just cycling through all the colours and again just the same stuff we've seen on the side of the box. Nothing special there apart from that. New six programmable buttons, which is pretty cool. So you can then configure them for whether you're playing an FPS game or a strategy game or whatever you're playing. And good to know you've got a two year manufacturer's warranty in the box. And let's try and open this up now and see what is inside. Okay, so once you cut the little tab at the top, you can then open the box and the mouse just slides out, very neatly packaged, very minimalist, not a lot going on here, but still pretty cool. As you can see, it is uh, just a normal USB cable, it's not a fancy braided cable or anything like that. I actually don't mind that, I find the braided cables pick up a lot of dust, so I'm quite happy about that, that suits me fine. And then there is the mouse itself, if you take out the little bag it comes in which has the Logitech G logo on it, just like the mouse does. And you can see there you've got your click wheel, you've also got your DPI setting button on the top and at the left hand side you have two additional mouse buttons which are fab that they're up high like that because then when you're picking up the mouse and moving it about on your mouse mat you won't accidentally hit the buttons on the side which I have been doing all the time on previous mice, mice, mouse, mices, mice that I have been using and it has been a pain in the neck when you accidentally either select the wrong weapon or you're just browsing the web and you go back or forward a page when you didn't mean to do that at all. At the bottom you can see the optical sensor as well and that's pretty much it guys. Very simple unboxing. You've got the mouse, one thing I'm going to do is I am going to fast forward a little bit now and we'll show you what the mouse looks like when it's plugged in and lit up during the day and then right at the end of the video we will show you what it looks like in the night in all its glory when it's dark and RGBs are doing their thing. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, if you did please leave it a thumbs up, remember to comment down below what you think of this mouse, have you got it, would you be picking it up? I think it's only about £30 or $40, US dollars, so it's definitely worth picking up, really really good value, I've been using it for a couple of days now, really really accurate, feels great in the hand, very very comfortable and it actually looks fantastic, it looks way better than I thought it would, the pictures on the website and on the box don't do it justice. So I'm going to stop talking now, if you're new around here remember to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Enough from me, let's see what this bad boy looks like when it's plugged in. See you later guys.